Hello and welcome to our channel Scholars EduGuide. This video is a continuation video of our previous video on spherical to Cartesian coordinates. Those who have not watched that video, the link is provided in the description bo box. So, as we have talked about in the previous video as well, the spherical coordinates hai, they are represented by the coordinates R, theta, and phi. Okay. So we'll go a quick review, a quick revision on uh, spherical coordinates. So this is a diagram to represent a point in a space where the spherical coordinates can be represented. R is a position vector from origin to the reference point P. Theta is a drop down angle from the z-axis. Phi is the angle around the xy plane or around the x-axis. So here the R and theta, they have the same meaning as we in the two dimensional polar coordinates. Spherical polar coordinates, they are the extended version of polar coordinate system only in three dimension. Polar coordinates, they are the two dimensional and spherical are the three dimensional representation. So, R and theta ka wahi meaning hai jo polar mein hota hai, two dimension mein. Kisi kisi book mein ye theta phi as a variable change कर दिया है, लेकिन इनका meaning same रहेगा, मतलब जो second angle है spherical में, चाहे आप उसको theta से represent करें, चाहे आप उसे phi से represent करें, meaning उसका वही है कि वो z axis से drop down angle है position vector पर, और जो third angle है, अब इसका representation इसका किसी भी variable से हो सकता है, theta से कर दीजिए, phi से कर दीजिए, gamma से, beta से, किसी भी variable से कर दीजिए लेकिन इसका मीनिंग वही है कि ये x एक्सिस के अराउंड एंगल होगा तो अगर आप यहां पर इन वेरिएबल्स को स्वैप कर रहे हैं मतलब थीटा की जगह फाइ और फाइ की जगह थीटा रख रहे हैं तो इनकी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन भी चेंज हो जाएगी हम यहां पर इसको एज इट इज ले रहे हैं जैसा हम बुक्स में से फॉलो कर रहे हैं ग्रिफिथ्स को फॉलो कर रहे हैं ग्रिफिथ्स में r थीटा फाइ गिवन है तो वी आर टेकिंग r थीटा फाइ ओनली so these are the transformation equation means if you have r theta phi then how can you go to the cartesian system aapko x y z nikalna hai r theta phi de rakha hai to ye transformation equation us system ke liye hai to equation hai x is equal to r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi z equal to r cos theta now the question here is convert these points 6 pi by 4 pi by 3 to cartesian so as the points are given, here it is not mentioned that these, these points are for the spherical or some other, but you can see it very carefully because here one point is constant and these are two of our angles. So if the question is not given that it is not given that it is not given that it is not given that you can see the points and see the idea of what is happening in the system. So the spherical thing is clear. So according to the statement, R जो है हमारा 6 है, theta pi by 4, phi pi by 3. Now we will apply these transformation equations. This is our first equation, second and this is third. So from equation first, you can calculate x easily. x is R sin theta cos phi, so R 6 sin theta sin pi by 4 and cos phi that means cos pi by 3 so from the trigonometric ratios we know that sin pi by 4 is 1 upon root 2 and cos pi by 3 is 1 upon 2 so 2 2 it goes off 3 over root 2 or you can divide and multiply by this so you will get 3 by 2 root 2 so this will be your first coordinate similarly from equation number second means the transformation of y is equal to r sin theta sin phi so from second y equal to 6 sin pi by 4 and then sin pi by 3 so sin pi by 4 is 1 upon root 2 and sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2. 
Okay, so again it will cut off and you will get three, three by two. Or when you simplify it, what you will get three by two root six. So this is your second coordinate in Cartesian. Now for the third coordinate, we will use equation number third. So which is z is equal to r cos theta. So z equal to r is 6, theta is pi by 4. So pi by 4, cos pi by 4 is 1 upon root 2. So 6 into 1 upon root 2, which is equal to 6 by root 2. Or you can easily divide multiply by root 2. This is a basic mathematics. It will become root 2 into root 2 become 2. So 2 goes off with 6 give you 3. So 3 root 2. So your coordinates x, y and z. x, y and z. The coordinates will be 3 upon 2 root 2. 3 upon 2 root 6. Or 3 root 2. So these are your coordinates in Cartesian. You have converted them in Cartesian from spherical one. So this will be your answer. So in this way, you are going to convert coordinates from spherical to Cartesian. It's quite easy. What you need to remember, you need to remember the transformation equations and their trigonometric ratios.